hello everyone and welcome to my another tutorial and this is ASM Marif welcoming you in my new tutorial which is about the face retouching and uh, adding the um, filter or some lights or the, the, um, the dramatic look of a picture of any photograph okay let's go to the um, tutorial and um, uh, one thing don't forget to subscribe my channel for the new update of my videos and tutorials which is uh, about uh, Photoshop, Lightroom and the Illustrator okay let's go to the tutorial and I'm opening a new photo which is uh, collected from the DeviantArt which is stock image I'll give that stock image link um, on my video description please check it out my video description for the stock images and stock resources also okay uh, go to file I'm going to file and opening a open a new photo okay this is my new photo and I'm making a copy here for the safety purpose now it will give me backup original image okay thank you then uh, I'll take a new layer from the adjustment layer that is the black and white layer just because of um, just uh, highlighted the dotted or spot of a face I'll reduce the yellow and I'll reduce the red okay all spot are highlighted in a face and then I'll reduce spot from this layer by taking the healing brush tool which is here and don't forget to mm, uh, press here content error uh, which is um, uh, take pixel from the other side and reduce this black pixel okay this is the basic technique I'm reducing this part this one oh, which are just prominent in the face I'll reduce that one no need to reduce this one just because of those are um, uh, same like that and this is not visible in a face mm, uh, those are the those are visible or highlighted in a face I will reduce this highlighted dotted and other mm, uh, dot or other spot will remove uh, by the help of the plugins that is the party to mm, uh, plugins and I'll give you that mm, uh, plugins link in my video description and uh, so mm, always check my video description for the stock images and the other resources that mm, uh, could be the brushes that could be the mm, uh, plugins extra and uh, other things and the song also uh, some of my viewers asked me where I'll get the song where I'll get the song please do check my video description for the song for the brushes for the mm, stock images everything and don't forget to comment in my videos mm, if you need any kind of help please mm, do knock on my Facebook Twitter or is Instagram okay you're most welcome to knock me thank you uh, let's go to the tutorial back okay I have done removing the spot of highlighted spot of the face and now I'll delete this layer no need to keep this layer okay uh, then I'm making another copy of this layer by dragging and drop and you can also make it uh, by pressing uh, ctrl J the copy the layer okay and then I'm going to the filter and the potitude plugins press here okay here is two window we, this one is the before before scenario and this one is the after senior scenario and uh, you can just adjust over there I'm taking the normal smoothing method and you can also give the medium okay I'll take the you can take high you can take the more glow and you also take the tone you can also take the high key and also low key okay I'll take the glamour just because of I want I don't want to keep the reddish mm, tone in a face I mm, want it mm, the natural tone which is uh, mm, uh, in this video. but I have to adjust this tone this is too much mm, exposed or overexposed and you can also control from here mm, any here is a drop down menu you can just and it will show the extra features now I'll reduce some brightness and 
no need to keep the brightness and i will um, i'll make it warm light warm softness and the sharpness okay done and pressing okay why i have done two layers over there yes here is a reason for making two layers or two copy of this layer uh, here is that reason uh, you just uh, notice that mm, uh, this portion or eyes mm, eyes or mm, the lips just go to the blurry mm, i don't want to keep this mm, the blurry effect that's why i'll make a mask and by pressing ctrl i i will inverse it and it will uh, it will be black it will be black and then uh, you are watching that um, uh, this image and this uh, image is same for this mask and i'll just brush simply the skin over there and i'll take a brush here from here and selecting this brush reducing the sharpness hardness zero percent and the size is 200 pixel okay and the foreground and background color when the inverse mask is here that means the black here and you have to keep the foreground color white then the brush will work okay i'm just brushing here the skin only I'm brushing skin only not here or the eyes or uh, lips these things you know that the in a portrait uh, the eyes is the most important thing the eyes is a conversation in all time your pictures or your models eyes is the conversation way of the picture if you reduce or if you uh, give some blurry effect or smooth effect in a eyes uh, okay don't brush the background because of the sharpness or age sharpness of your picture you can increase the size of brush by pressing the third bracket closing key okay i'm brushing here here i'm doing okay get all right here is some spot i have to remove this spot okay i will press in my picture and i will go to the healing brush tool spot healing brush tool and decreasing okay gone after finishing the brush work i will go or i will select these two layer and make it group by pressing ctrl g and i'm also pressing ctrl shift alt e for merge two layers and keeping another copy for the future work okay then i'll go to the filter and camera raw filter for adjusting in the color background or everything and i'll give some it could be the minus three temperature and the tint will be plus three and then i'll decrease or reduce the highlighted and i'll keep some shadows in reducing the black I'm increasing the clarity plus three variance plus three and the saturation minus three okay then i'll go to the vignette okay let's get minus 30 percent then i'll go to the color or grayscale mode hue saturation and luminance and the saturation i'll reduce the saturation of green low saturated and the luminance i will just reduce and the yellow sorry the orange orange is a face color and the hair color you are watching okay If you increase the red, the skin color will be bright. You notice that. Okay. The saturation, I will reduce the saturation of orange and 
increase the saturation of red also and hue I'll reduce the hue of the yellow little bit and green sorry orange also and green also okay press ok and then I'll go to the gradient map and I'll give the gradient which is and I'll change the change it to the blue color pressing ok and now I'll go to the blend mode to the soft light and I'll decrease the fill Here. ok then I'll go to the color lookup and select the horror blue color like that okay and then and then I'll add light upper side of the layer this this layer I'll go to the file and place embedded and go to the uh, light section I collected some light I'll give this light link on my video description or video detail don't forget to check it out and don't forget to subscribe okay then increasing the size mm, by pressing hold the shift key and then hit the tick button and then make it skin I'll set this light over there and increase this light okay that's good and then I'll active this layer also the drama v the drama effect will uh, appear on your screen or in your image that's why I mm, used this light and this the color lookup if you want to change the color lookup you can just user adjust the color lookup okay then I'm selecting this layer by pressing control and making group by pressing control G and also making another copy the merge copy of this group by pressing control shift alter E and then I'll apply another filter that is the Google Nick collection and the, that is color effects pro 4 I also give this plugin link in my video detail so check it out my video detail when you are watching my video okay go I'm going to color effects pro it will take time in your PC if your PC will be low configured okay load it and um, I choose here from the cross process cross cross process in this one cross processing and here is also another filter I'll check which filter is perfect for this image because of um, the warm tone or cool tone if you want to give the warm tone is a yellowish tone and the cool tone is a bluish tone this one is a cool tone and this one is a warm tone I think the warm tone is more perfect for this picture okay I will apply this tone and press ok done then I'll make another group of these two layer and merge this layer and I'm copying this layer just because I want to um, increase the sharpness of the picture and I'll go to Mm, I made another copy in the layer 3 or this one I'll change the blending mode to the vivid light and then I'll apply a filter which is the other I'll go to the other and the high pass okay high pass means the age of the image will be um, prominent in this picture that is the high pass and your picture will be sharper more sharper don't make it more sharper um, just because of it will be pixelite so uh, I'm giving the 0.5 percent that's good for this picture and pressing ok 
the edge will be more sharper than the previous okay then I'm placing uh, control G for group and control E for march that is okay let's see what happened to the previous from the previous picture to the present picture this one was my present and it was the previous it was the previous and then it's the main picture and now our picture it's more beautiful than the previous i think okay thanks for watching my tutorial and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you have any kind of question any kind of query do comment on my video section and you can also knock me on a facebook twitter or instagram thank you so much and happy photoshop